केसी आई यू लाइक साशा इन रियल लाइफ एंड टू वॉट I think I mean to to quite an extent yes I would like to believe that and I think uh, Sasha um Sasha has been growing in me for a while now and uh, I think after doing the film and knowing her even more intimately I uh I I more often than not you know think of Sasha and how she would be she actually inspires me uh, a lot she has inspired me through that film as i said uh, while i was discovering her you know while i was figuring her out uh, through the homework for the film and the shoot of the film and Sha- sasha is somebody who's really stayed with me so so and i normally say that i was almost 5 out of 10 sasha when i did sasha and today yeah. i'm like 8 out of 10 sasha so i'm still not sasha completely but i really yeah. want to i really want to go there yeah so what you, when was the last time you behaved like sasha i i behave like her almost uh, every day you know and 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 now for the last two weeks sasha is like everywhere she's she's mm-hmm. so in my face like i can't even like you know ignore her anymore so uh, and now that i've rewatched the film you know i've seen it twice already and then so many people message me um uh what did i what did i just do she's she's everywhere yaar i think uh well, she's i'm just a lot sasha you know and i don't even have to like you know so that's the thing about uh, sasha shaheen Sha- sasha is not your um she's not your typical unapologetic um my life my way my way or the highway um you know and uh, being being very blunt about things because you know being very frank and honest you know because uh, she likes to tell the truth she's not she's not all of this in the way it seems you know she is also somebody who will not open her mouth if if she doesn't need to be and i think this is the part that i am not so sasha sasha you know because i still open my mouth where i don't need to you know i still go <laughs> like nahi ye sahi hai nahi wo waisa hona chahiye i think i need right. to be a little more i am i need to be more passive like her and um, right. yet um i think um, sasha is somebody who truly lives uh, this idea of live and let live in a way that um do not most of the people don't get it you know uh people who just um uh, live live she's not here to um uh, you know she's not somebody who's like nara laga ke chal rahi hai you know like she's not trying to show people she's not trying to show people the way she's not trying to make a point she's just so comfortable with who she is and she's never at no point she's trying to tell you that look at me and be like me you know because i'm perfect because this is the way to do it you know it's it's not that so she's uh it's a very that's what i'm saying it's such a complex character in terms of there is so much going on with sasha and for for people to really get sasha uh people get a bit of sasha through the film but not uh not a lot of what sasha is all about everything that she's about and i wish people understood her through the film a little more than what just uh, than what you really get to see of her what do you think sasha is all about sasha is a is a great human being yeah she's she's somebody who represents what being uh, really being human is about i mean sasha is somebody who's as i said she's um, she truly believes in live and let live at the same time she is not um she's somebody who doesn't seek validation you know from outside and i think when you that's one of that's a very big uh thing that drives a lot of us like if you look at um why social media is so popular a big part of it is driven by validation the need for validation you know and uh, in these times in the way and even if there was no social media people are still driven a lot by this particular need and in that need people start behaving like they are they are behaving in ways 
to please others to seek um, others approval of them you know they are people people are not getting closer to who they really are not being true and authentic about who they are uh, but Uh, behaving in ways and being someone else all the time and your sasha is complete opposite of that she's she is authentic she is what she is you know and uh, she doesn't wear it on her sleeves at the same time uh, just the comfort that she has with herself just the um you know just the the power of being real you know the power of being yourself sasha sasha just has that you know and sasha is somebody who's again very very sensitive here yeah? i mean she in the film also if you see her she's not she doesn't speak a word till she realizes that there's something off with arshi you know till that till she breaks down and she sees that oh my god okay this is the deal like this is what's going on here and even after that honestly they are just on a road trip and uh, they probably will spend say not more than 24 hours with each other the whole gang and yet there is um there is some part of sasha which wants to help which wants to reach out which wants to do something you know to to even whether you can do something to so- help someone or not is still secondary uh to have this thought that you know what i want to 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 be affected to be affected by another's pain that sasha you know sasha is not your i don't give a fuck she gives a fuck and she gives a fuck in a way that uh, a lot of people can't even understand you know so uh, yeah this is sasha is a lot of these things right so despite everything do you still think that there's a scope of growth uh, for sasha's character yeah i mean uh, see the thing is um, you know that's why like you have series and that's why series are so appreciated and enjoyed because every character you have so much time to you know uh, show everything about a character the background the present you know what they what they are like what they are like in different situations uh, where they come from what was their upbringing what you know everything like there's so much scope to just dwell into it and uh, in a film with uh, like a like a 90 minutes film uh you have so much to show and so much to do and it's very um it's it's more often than not you you do uh end up not showing enough of you know the graph of a character so yes sasha i mean i think sasha can sasha has enough to um make a film just on her you know her journey and who she is and all of that so yeah clearly i mean there is uh, there was there's a lot more of sasha that um i would have liked to see a lot, a lot more uh, when i say a lot more i don't mean it, mean it in terms of footage i mean it in terms of uh who she is you know like like a lot of people were like uh, okay why does she, what is she crying in the darga for you know that suddenly she breaks down you see her this see her as this very strong empowered girl and suddenly you see her break down in darga and uh, in our heads in our understanding of sasha that's the thing i mean a place like a darga which is the which is a spiritual place for her um sasha feels the most connected right yeah yeah no problem sasha feels the most connected with that one supreme power you know and so here is this girl who is who is also uh, the way she is and at the same time she is so connected she is so spiritual that that she she goes she steps into that space and uh, the tears are not of help me and save me and get rid of my problems the tears of tears are of joy tears are of just that connection one feels and um, i can totally vouch for that because every time i step into ajmer sharif uh, and i and i go there every time i can uh, or uh, uh, or amritsar golden temple for that matter i just start crying you know so i i mean that's that's the energy that i feel so so i'm saying stuff like that i wish so many ifs and buts about sasha uh, could be you know uh, explained and uh, because she's such she's such a beautiful empowered uh, character you know that i just wish people got more of more of her 
more of understanding her you know right right so would you say that she holds a special place in your life sasha absolutely absolutely i don't think i've ever uh, i mean of course i fall in love with every character i play and uh, i i they are more uh, i look at them as uh being you know another human and then i get into their world and then i see the world through their eyes and so for me every character becomes very personal uh, it becomes very it becomes very intimate for me but sasha for me is someone who has really hit me hard because i think uh she i i think she really um is everything that i would uh, want to be someday yeah